Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's art show. I'm Hannah Broxmeyer. And I'm Ryan Moore. And we are some of your hosts for the night. So Ryan, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Hannah. I hope everyone out there is doing well also. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I love being able to see all these different art pieces because there's ceramics, there's sculpture, there's photography, there's drawing, and of course us here at B&B love our graphic design. Of course we do. You know, some of our own B&B people also have some uh, artwork in here also. Maybe we'll catch an interview with them later, maybe not. Depends how this night will go. But this, as this night is kicking off to a good start, there's still already a lot of people in here. And we're only 12 minutes in, so that definitely says something about Mepham Arts here. Absolutely, and since we're only 12 minutes in, if you guys are watching at home right now, hi everyone, but also you guys can come in and you can see all these amazing art pieces in person. Definitely can, and if you want, you can also see them, obviously, here, and you can also see them from your kids or anyone else that is in MEPM as a student or teacher. Yeah, so if you guys see on your screen right now, we have a bunch of different art pieces shown. There's a bunch of sculptures that you see and a bunch of paintings in the background. There we go. We, got, we have some juniors artwork. We have Amber Kaba from Drawing and Painting, and we have Jake Paul from College Drawing and Painting and Photography. And those are amazing paintings and drawings. Like, look at those leaves. Definitely is, yeah. I mean... This is stuff that is truly off MEPM students' minds. And just for them being able to do something like this is amazing. So it's, it's nice to be able to be a part of something like this today. Absolutely. And as we keep talking, this room is filling up. And there's so many different types of art. So what's, what's your favorite piece you've seen so far? That's hard to say. You know, there's a lot. I asked you the same question before. I don't think we can specifically say, you know, there's a lot of different art pieces and it's not even the fact of the matter that we're not seeing all of them, but it's the fact of the matter that there's art in the hallway also. So yeah, there's so much art here and this school is um, an art school. So I can't really say the uh, one piece that is amazing because they're all amazing. Absolutely. And there, right now we are in the choral room and orchestra room and this room is filled with art all the way but there's also art all throughout the hall hallways and in our main foyer once you walk in and honestly not just then there's art all over this building even when it's not art show season definitely is you know we have uh, certain uh what do, what do we call them like little uh windows what are yeah we have a bunch of like glass display, cases yes, display, display cases, cases uh with uh, many different things in them uh like in the beginning of throughout the year, they've had a certain like uh, little uh, metal string uh, statues and stuff, I'd like to say. I'm not 100% sure what they were, but they were people. They were people's designs also. Absolutely. And we just keep getting closer looks at all of these sculptures. And you can see, and you guys, if you come, parents or students, you will be able to see some of your art teachers here. Like right now, you see Ms. Desmond and Ms. Federici. Ms. Kalish is always running around. And everyone's always on, so you can watch. Definitely is. You know, as you see here, we even have a few MEP uh, b, b students here. Uh, we have Brianna Bolin, uh, one of the, the midweek hosts, who will be joining us later. Um, we have Ariel. Uh, she'll be joining well, us later also. But for Not now, let's throw it over for an interview. It's Bree Goodman, and I'm here with Critty Siney. Um So, Critty, so tell me, um, which one is your drawing? Which ones are your drawings? So, these right here are mine. I really like them. So, what was the inspiration behind this artwork? Um, so, this is actually a memorial piece of my late grandmother. These are my grandparents right now, and then the rest is just basic stuff. This is my job, you know. I think it's beautiful. So, which one of these pieces is the one that sticks out to you the most? Um, probably this one. It got into the ASA art show. This was one of the first ones of all of them. It's the most meaningful to me since she did pass away, but 
I really liked it. So. I'm sorry for your loss. I really think that your art is beautiful, and I'm so glad that we got to talk today. Thank you so much. And now back to you guys in the booth. Hello guys, welcome back. Um, as you see here, a beautiful piece of art by Creedy. We just ha interviewed her. Um, an amazing student, amazing person, and it's it's just nice to see those type of people uh, succeed in the art uh, community. Absolutely, and thank you again to Brianna Goodman for that amazing interview. And if you guys want to see more of her, you can see more of her on our midweek update when a new episode will be going up later this week. Definitely will. Um, you know, before I said Ariel will be joining us, I mean behind-the-scenes camera operator, um, one of our best. Um, she definitely does a good job and makes the this production, uh, most of our camera ops make this production uh, work. So... Big shout out to the behind the scenes crew as we will be seeing a special behind the scenes footage on uh, the midweek update. Absolutely, and I know you guys always look forward to the to midweek update. And this week you will be able to see me as one of your hosts along with Amanda Ali, Luke Yepes doing sports, and you will be able to see Bri Brianna Goodman again as she inter as she introduces our BNB behind the scenes along with many other packages, which I know you guys all are so excited for. Definitely is. You know, we just spent the last, what, I mean, I think we spent the last four hours editing the behind the scenes. Um, so we hope you all enjoy it. Um, it's just basically what we do behind the scenes that you guys don't get to see every day, but we do. So it's it's like we're showing you the stuff that you don't always get to see. Um, so it's it's nice. So it's um, you guys get a piece of the pie, per se. Exactly. Like, you guys might not know how much hard work it's put into all of these events by not only us as the students, like just the crew members being on camera, as well as tonight our producer, Emily Yao, who always does an amazing job, as well as our executive producers, Mr. Stein and Mr. Russell. And, of course, you know, the best, one of the best producers. Right next to me, Hannah Broxmeyer, producer of the Midweek Update, the best show. Thank you. I mean, morning announcements up there, too. But, you know, midweek update gives you the stories that you guys don't always get to hear. So it's nice. And, of course, it's one of our most favorite shows. So uh, it's 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 one of my favorite shows, you know. I help host that show, you know. I mean, yeah. like, I'm a little biased, but it's definitely <laughs> one of my favorites, if not my favorite, because I'm biased. But enough about us. Let's take a look at these amazing face artwork. Like, there's so many cool different types. What? What, what was your favorite artwork that was just on the screen? I can't answer it, man. I can't. You know, it's just, it's right there. It's right in front of me, but I can't answer it. You know, if we had to say, uh, if we narrowed it down to like one page maybe, but still yeah. it would be hard, you know. Um, I know. To pick one student over the other, uh, there's just many different factors that factor into it. And looking around the room, I have to say that there's hundreds of art pieces, and probably let alone that there's some outside too so once again um so there's definitely more than we can see so i mean it's definitely hard to say absolutely and hopefully soon you guys will get to see what we have in the foyer with another one of our camera up because we don't get to see it in the room with us but don't worry you guys will get to see it of course you will but for now let's throw it over for another interview with Devin green this time So um, it's uh, it's Brianna, and I'm here with um, Devin Green, sculpture artist. So Devin, which one is your sculpture? Uh, this one right here. Um, I like it a lot. So, um, what was like the motive and the inspiration behind the sculpture? Um, to be honest, I just started out with it, and it kind of like it like it looked ugly, so I, I almost embraced the fact. I gave it horns, and I almost just went with the flow, and just took me where it went. That's really cool. And what was the process of it? Like, what what is it made of? Like, how how did you make it? And how long did it take? Um, this took like almost like two months, almost three. Um, it's made with a lot of clay, um, almost like twenty five pounds of clay. Um, we actually had it on a stand at first, and then eventually you take it off, and it um it's a long process. And then we bronzed it, and then we eroded the bottom. I think it looks really good. And thank you for talking to us today. So. Um, back to you guys in the booth. 
Thank you so much, Brianna and Devin. And if you guys saw that lower third, that was made by my co-host, Ryan Marr. So how, how long did it take you to make that lower third? Um, it was a process. I mean, I got to say, it was, uh, it was a few steps. Um, it took me to make it a little more than a few steps. But uh, it, it, it took a while. I mean... Well, but it came out. It was yeah. amazing. It looks amazing. You gotta put, you it gotta looks put great. Into certain things, so it takes me a little bit longer to do stuff. Uh, but uh, some people tell me it comes out good, so that's, yeah. that's what it's worth. It definitely came out amazing. And look, you guys, you guys get to see some of the people look at their own artwork, um, along with Mepham students looking at their friends and other people's artwork. Yeah, it's just nice to see, you know. All these people coming out. I know we say it a lot now after we've had, uh, like, a really bad few years. I wouldn't COVID. say bad because bad, for b and I'd say it was pretty beneficial because <laughs> we got to make live broadcasts every single day. And it was it was a challenge at times, but it was so worth it. I, mean, to like, bring you the I news. mean, like, the struggle. It was a struggle for certain yes. people. Um, it, I mean, it's just nice to see everyone getting back together. And especially maskless. I mean, we say it pretty much at every event now, but it's just nice to see. And I don't think we'll ever stop saying it after the years we've had. Absolutely. Since we haven't been able to have this art show how it used to be, like last year was virtually and the year before, like, thankfully we got to have it virtually. But we're happy to be back in person. And it's a great way for the Mepham community and the art community to come together. Definitely is. You know, there's statues here. There's everything. I mean, I know we say it a lot, but it's just remarkable about what everyone can create with the tools that they're given. So it's cool. Absolutely. But for now, let's throw it over to another interview, this time with Brie Casper. Bryn Casper, I'm sorry. It's Brianna Goodman, and I'm here with Bryn Casper, AP artist. So, Bryn, which one, um, which is your art? Um, this is all my art down here, and this is my friend Maria's art. We split the board because we kind of been in class together all year, and we work together on some pieces. Very nice. Um, so, as an AP artist, what was your focus in your art collection? So, my focus was on portraits and how they evoke nostalgia. So, I kind of drew a lot of pictures of me as uh, when I was younger, and pictures of my old pets or my friends when they were younger. Very nice. And so out of all these um, beautiful pictures, which one like connects to you the most and which one like sparks most with you? Um, I think I like the two dogs there. Um, that is my current dog and then one of my old dogs who passed away and I liked I put them together because they used to be together but now they're not together and I think that was cool to add someone who not someone, but a dog who passed away and one that's living together. Yeah, of course. I think that's a beautiful painting. Thank you for talking with us today, and I think your artwork is beautiful. Thank you so much. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you so much, Bree, um, with that amazing interview with Bryn Casper. Um, once again, an amazing art student. Um, so it's, I mean, I can't say it enough, man. It's just nice to see. Absolutely. And you guys... This might not be your first time seeing Bren because she has been in musicals all throughout her Mepham career, basically. Like, she got to be in Beauty and the Beast, and she was LeFou. And honestly, I saw the show both nights, but you could watch parts of it on the B&B YouTube channel. And it was, she was absolutely incredible. It was, it was awesome. And here's what, here's what we were talking about, uh, that there's art scattered all over the school. It might, we might be in the gallery, per se, but... This entire school is a gallery um, every single day. So this is what we were talking about, how there's so many art pieces, not just in here, but everywhere throughout the school, um, as you can see uh, on the screen. Absolutely. And I feel like every painting is so unique based on what kind of art you use, the materials, and honestly, whatever your theme is, because we've seen a bunch of faces, we've seen some pets, we've seen some celebrities, like pictures, we've seen mountains. We've seen some Batman. Hey, that's the room we're in. Look at that. See that nice vase? I love that vase, and it's right in front of us, along with so many other sculptures. That's pretty cool. It's like those uh, little things that you hold paper with, with uh, the, the thing that you take the Oh, yeah, that's the staple cool. remover. I didn't even see that at first. That's so cool. And, like, it looks like some binder clips also. 
it's it's so creative. And I mean, the stuff like I can't do that. I mean, I could make a graphic, um, but put so much time and effort into something not so small, but so creative. I mean, I can't. It's like there's no words to describe it. It's just it's art, and art is what's truly amazing. Absolutely, these students are so creative. I am not the best artist, like on paper. But I guess I can make a pretty good graphic, I'd say. But, like, if you give me, like, a pen and paper or, like, colored pencils or anything like that, I'm not that person. Um, I wish I was, but I'm not. I'm not great at art. I mean, I'm not that good at art either. Um, I'm going to be taking art uh, with Miss Kalish in the studio or whatever. Oh, the stu uh, Foundations studio. of Art. Yeah, Foundations oh, of that Art. That class is amazing. And that's where a bunch of our, pretty much all, a bunch of our BMV students get to learn how to make graphics that you guys see on all of our shows. Um, I was privileged this year to uh, be, I don't know, uh, mentored by a few of BMV's finest um, to make graphics, to edit, to do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, that not a lot of freshmen know how to do or get to do. Um, so it's, it's, I had, I had a distinct privilege and I am very honored that they chose me. Yeah. And I'm excited to be able to be taking an art class again next year. I'm going to be taking creative suite where I learned, I've learned better to make, um, graphic design artwork along with a bunch of other different kinds of artwork online, which I'm very excited about. Yeah. I mean, now, over over uh, the COVID nineteen pandemic per se, um, what did you uh, how, do? How did you guys make graphics? So I was a freshman at that time. So and my freshman year got cut short, so I didn't get the full experience of making graphics in person. But I got to learn how to make graphics for the award ceremonies because they were virtually. So I got to help out with that and. Shout out to Miss Kalish because she helped me learn how to make a graphic. Well, I mean, Miss Kalish is one of the best, one of the best. But now let's send it over to Bree Goodman with an interview. Just like, make it all. <laughs> Hi, it's Brianna Goodman, and I'm here with Joe Bongo, who's um, in photography. So, Joe, which one is your um, photo? Um, it happens to be this amazing photo of a Christmas bulb right here. Wow. So, what was your inspiration for this fo um, for this photograph? So, in photo, we were walking around taking photos in different stations, and one of the stations was a bunch of panoramic lights and uh, some bulbs hanging. So, you know, how to how to take at least one photo of it, you know? Yeah, I think it's very cool. And so, like, what was like the process of it? Like, did you did you edit it? Did you just take it? Yeah, so I edit all my photos in Adobe Photoshop, just change like the shading, the size of the photo, so I can print it, you know, properly. But that's that's about it. It's, it's pretty basic. It looks really nice. And thank you for talking to us today. So back to you guys in the booth. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Bree, and thank you to Joe. Your artwork is truly incredible. One of our B and B seniors graduating, sadly. I know um, it's crazy that like. Being a junior, I've been working with these current seniors now for majority, pretty much all of my time in BNB so far, and they have mentored me so much. Yeah, uh, our producer here, wherever she is, the wonderful, amazing Miss Emily Yucked, um, she mentored me. Um, she's just an incredible person, um, a great broadcaster. Um, a great artist, everything. Um, she can, she, you can give her a keyboard without the computer, and she'll make something incredible. So, honestly, she, her everything she does is absolutely amazing. But she, her big thing this year that she truly made the best it could possibly be so far is our morning announcements, and which you guys can watch every Friday with our amazing hosts. And honestly, this announcements this year has been brought up like 10 levels with all of our different it's, it's clips and soundbites and live hits. Like, Emily is truly amazing. Like, going into the year, I just thought that was our usual uh, as a freshman. But I went back and I watched a few from the years before. They were great. But Emily took that and she made it, she made, I don't want to say like sand, but she made sand into a diamond. I mean, it's glass, which 
Is that a dive? I'm not sure. We're not going to talk about it anymore. No. Um, yeah, but Emily, her packages, everything Emily does is absolutely incredible. It definitely is. Um, you can tune in this Thursday to the B&B Awards and watch Emily Yacht. Well, she's probably going to end up with some more awards. I mean, Honestly, Emily is amazing. But who knows? We could get some awards, too. Um, but now let's throw it over to Bree Goodman with another interview. Hi, it's Brianna Goodman, and I'm here with Antonio Villani, an AP artist. So, Antonio, which one? Which like, where is your art? Which, which um, where's your art? I mean, this is all my art. I think I like to go pretty crazy with the mediums. I like to rip. I like to put tape. A lot of new things. I like to try new stuff. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't put it in an exact like you know ink or paint. It's pretty spread around, I'd say. And so, what's um, your inspiration for most of your art in your collection? I mean, there's this artist named Giacometti, and I found a lot of inspiration with him. With uh, he was very like random and the rough scribbles. It's like, for example, this one. It's kind of all over the place, but it formed a skeleton. I thought it looked nice and very rough. It's very nice. Thank you. And so out of all like of these beautiful pieces in your collection, which one sticks out to you the most? Which, which one sticks out to you the most and connects with you the most? Um, I'd say this one, Husk. It's because I really tried a lot. I tried to put as much as I could into it, you know, paint-wise, ink-wise. Um, I tried so much new stuff, and I was really proud of how it came out. So I think it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite, I made this year. It's really pretty, and it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. And um, back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Bri, and thank you, Antonia. Amazing artwork. But now we are here with Miss, with Miss Kalish, who you guys have heard us mention so much tonight. So how are you tonight, Miss Kalish? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. We love talking about this, and you, we have talked about you quite a bit. Oh, well, th uh, hopefully uh, all good uh, quite things. Quite a bit. A of lot. course. Always. Okay. Uh -huh. Always. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. So, uh, have you guys gotten a chance to look at all the artwork? Not all of it yet, but like we've yeah, got, we have can it. I mean, there's so much. True. That's true. You got to really work your way down the whole hallway and into the the foyer. It's very nice. The foyer. The, the foyer. The foyer. Yes. <laughs> um, did you see the lower third that keeps popping up on the screen? I did. Uh, Shout out to Ryan Mar again. Again. Oh, did we already talk about yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, well, now that the art teacher is here, I'd like to comment on what a beautiful piece of artwork it in fact is. Um, also. In case people don't realize it, um, in the foyer, there is a smart board that has videos playing on loop. Um, some of our gifts made by the Creative Suite kids that are amazing, but in between there are mini videos created by BMB students. So you get to see some of the stuff that we do because what we make is art as well. True. Which is pretty exciting. I didn't know there are that. many different types of art, especially we make many different kinds of BMB between our videos, our graphics, our packages, exactly. everything. That's how I got involved with BNB as an art teacher. We saw the need for, you know, the art side of things in broadcasting, and I got pulled in. Well, best thing that ever happened Thank to God, me. man. Absolutely. Being thank honest. God. Yeah. I'm happy that your first year was my first year, too. I know, but uh, I'm going to be pretty upset next year when when you're a senior. So uh, we're not going to talk about we're that. No, we're, we're not, not talking about, about that right now. That. At least I get Ryan for another couple of years, so that's yeah. good. It's going to make me feel a little bit better. Yeah, but we're not talking about that right now because I can't can we, do this. Can we talk about the fact that this is the first time we've had an opportunity at B&B to live stream the art show, seeing yeah. as how the last two years of this art show have been forced to be virtual. So not only was the art department super, super excited to be back in person so that families and friends could come see the artwork in, and actually you know, get up close and really examine it, but the fact that it gives us an opportunity to be here and show off your skills, I mean, we couldn't be happier. This was, this was really fantastic. So appreciate you guys taking your time to do this tonight. We're happy to be oh. here. Absolutely. The rest of the crew out there and Mr. Russell and Mr. Stein dedicating their time tonight. So big shout out to them. Thank hey, you there's so much. Mr. Russell right there. I do see him. Hey, Mr. Russell. Absolutely. And he's even at the art, so he can't, he can't hear. He's absorbed. so fascinating. Yeah. yeah. And uh, even though we are here in person, you guys are still watching it on live on the live stream right now. So this gives us the ability to do both. It's such a great thing. And I love that you guys brought down extra cameras so that you could be, uh, whilst we're talking, I can see artwork popping up on the screen. That's so awesome. It's yeah. really, really great. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, can you tell us a little bit about just setting this up and what it takes to set this up? Um, it takes an army, but uh, all the art department comes together, both the teachers and the students. For you know, the last month, we've been preparing the artwork, getting it matted, um, putting it name tags on it, 
planning how each board would be mapped out and then figuring out the best way to secure it to the boards, which actually is a fun task. <laughs> um, and then today, all day long, the our teachers were relieved from a lot of their teaching duties in order to come to this room with their students and actually put the boards together, pop them up, figure out the best layout, place all the sculptures. Um, and then we were, we were very lucky that the school was supportive of us using the hallways and the foyer. So we were able to, at the end of the day, you know, finish sneaking it down the hallways and into the foyer. And uh, we're going to leave it up all day today, or obviously tonight and uh, tomorrow, so that during the school day, everyone can come on down. Um, yeah, so we're pretty excited. Um, what does art mean to you, Miss Kalish? What does art mean to me? Yeah, like what? What is it's what a, is it's art? It's like a very philosophical, deep question. Oh, deep question. I mean, art to me is just it could be anything that somebody looks at and finds pleasing to the eye. So you know, a anything could really be art from from things you create with pencil and paper to video to even food. You know, there's food art. Um, all the sculptural stuff, which really you can use anything to make a sculpture. So it's really, honestly, if you look at something and it makes you happy and it makes you f feel a certain way and it evokes some sort of emotion, it's art. So Absolutely. It's and being an art teacher, what is your favorite form of art to do yourself? Oh, well, I am a photographer. Uh, before I became a teacher, I was a photographer. It's the art that I appreciate the most. It's the one thing that I look at and it, it strikes me and a really beautiful photograph can be very emotional for me um, and I try to create that in my own photography and I just genuinely love taking pictures and trying to capture moments out of out of life and time that you know I'll encapsulate forever in a photograph um, or just show people something that they don't normally see I believe there's a saying about that in broadcasting save a surprise take us places take us places you don't take us places we can't see no oh, come on <laughs> I'm Come trying on. to act like show you, us, I know you guys are Show us places about. we can't see, take us somewhere we can't go. Yeah, I like to take that into my photography and do the same. So, yeah. Still trying to figure out what you guys are talking about. Well, I mean, you've got a couple more years of learning True. before you get there. And, I, you'll get there. and I believe there is a poster of that in the room. There is, yeah, yeah. A couple, couple of those sayings are up on the wall. Yeah. So that you'll learn it and yeah. then you'll but always remember there's it. There's too many. There. There's too many. So. Too many posters? There's, there could never be too many. Please. There can so never be too many, and you guys should definitely, guys. you could even pop into the studio to see those posters, because a lot of them yeah. were made by Miss Kalish. Oh, well. I I've mean, seen a few of them. I mean, I've seen them, I just don't. <laughs> you don't read them? You better start reading them, man. That's where yeah. you learn. Well, technically, I did watch you make a whole bunch of them, so. Uh, guys, well, I think they're giving us a single to uh, absolutely. send it over. Ms. Kalish. Yes, Ms. Kalish, thank you so much for talking for with us. Me. A, I, you know I don't love being on camera, but this was a, a pleasure and a joy. Thank you so much. Thanks so and, much uh, again. Happy birthday to this guy right yes, here. Yes, happy birthday. And now let's throw it over to Bree Goodman with another interview. Yeah, that was amazing. And now let's get back to looking at some more artwork. Yes, look at that. That's a statue. That is. There's some amazing. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> there's some amazing sculptures and statues all around this room, made up out of clay or like paper mache. It definitely is. You know, before we got here uh, and before it got crowded, one of our editors and one of our most favorite people in the program, Mr. James Bickham got to film a live hit, which you'll see on this week's morning announcements. So you better tune in because who does not want to see a James Bickham in his natural habitat? Absolutely. So, technically not his natural habitat, but, but a habitat. And that just shows that there, even a live hit is art because you're showing something. And there's so many different forms of art on every single thing we film all around the studio, literally all, all over the BMC HSD community. Definitely. I mean, look at us. We took the message from Miss Kalish, and we are art. We are, yes. We are. We are art. We are amazing art. art. Absolutely. And like, look Yay. at these these amazing like landscapes of like the city and the and the water and the fields. Definitely. Um, look, there's Miss Russell. <laughs> um, 
That's Mr. Russell you're talking about before. I said hi, but he did not respond. I felt kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, yeah. Pretty, uh, sad. Pretty sad. <laughs> yeah, pretty but offended that yeah. I didn't get a high back from Mr. <laughs> Russell. Yeah, but I mean, we'll allow it, though, because he was pretty interested in the artwork. So Exactly. And who wouldn't be interested in this artwork? Like, it's truly amazing what just high school students can create. And the outcome here is amazing. So it's just nice to see. Absolutely. And if you see, if you guys are all around here, you see some of our badminton team, like, after their game and board practice. Just everyone is so coming to support the Mepham art community definitely is there's so many people that legit everyone is flooding in front of our camera right now because there's it's crowded in this room i i mean i wish we had like a ceiling camera um, absolutely but we don't sadly um it's okay maybe next year maybe, maybe next year i have a floating camera i think that's a little much because we don't want to break it but maybe. maybe as many cameras as possible to show you guys exactly pretty much almost everything in this room even though that's very hard definitely um, time is going by fast. Absolutely. Uh, everyone who's watching this right now gets to come here. Um, and um, if you don't, watch the BB YouTube channel. I mean, obviously, if you're here, you already are. But share this video. Okay? Absolutely. And if you guys are watching it, just know. it's Since we're live streaming it, you can just keep watching it to see the amazing artwork. And But now it's the... Now we're going to send it over to Bree Goodman with an interview with Jamie DeLuca. If you watched the morning announcements last week, you saw her as our Around Campus guest. And you can look forward to more guests on Around Campus all throughout the week and for the rest of the school year. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this amazing art. We see all these, all the Mepham family all coming together, all these students. But Ryan Mar unfortunately had to leave us for the night, but now I'm here with a new co-host, Brianna Bolin. So how are you doing tonight, Bri? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, Hannah. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm, I love being able to look at this artwork. And earlier, we got to talk to Miss Kalish. And who wouldn't want to talk to Miss Kalish? I love Kalish. I love Miss <laughs> Kalish. <laughs> so it's like, and she has helped so many students create their artwork that is being showcased tonight, which yeah. is truly incredible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's actually helped with some of the art that I have here. Uh, so I actually have art here, like I just said, <laughs> and so does my brother, actually. What artwork can we look forward to seeing of yours tonight? Uh, I have a movie poster. Uh, it's like, I don't remember the title, but like it's something about an eclipse. Ooh. Um, and it stars my one of my best friends, Maya Stone. Shout out to Maya. <laughs> we love you, Maya. <laughs> love you. Love <laughs> you. Um, and... Uh, I also have a photo essay, which um, just basically is like a story about a girl that really enjoys books and just literally spends like six hours reading one book. <laughs> wow, that's truly incredible. And for those of you who might not know, a photo essay is like similar to like a collage of pictures, but a collage do does not always tell a story. But this, just from seeing a bunch of pictures, you can find a whole story, like Bree said. Yeah. Do you have anything in the art show, Hannah? Um, I'm not sure, but on the front, on the smart board in the lobby, I think I have one of my packages this year, which is the addiction to social media, which you guys can see on our inside look on our BNB YouTube channel, which was made by the whole junior class. So you guys should definitely check it out. It's all about social media, which I know I'm a big fan of. <laughs> what about you? Who doesn't love social media? And it is truly addicting, but there's also benefits. It can affect your mental health. Everything, which you can find <laughs> out all in the inside look. These were all the different topics made by all different B&B juniors. Yeah. I know I definitely contact you through social media all the time. And speaking of social media, obviously there's so many benefits. Speaking of which, you guys should really check out 
our Belmore Mark Broadcasting Instagram, which Bree made a post on earlier tonight. Yeah, I actually did on the story, though. So that means you guys better go right now so that you can see it. <laughs> go look at my amazing photography. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> photography is one of the many forms of art that you see tonight. And honest, as I look around the room and like in the hallways, photography is everywhere. And as you guys see, there's Ryan Marr. Bye, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. No, he's actually coming back our way. Oh. Why is he coming back? He misses us. <gasps> Wait, but do you see that, Hannah? That's a corgi. <gasps> oh, my God. If you know is a big dog family. Like, we love dogs here. Corgi it's, are so short and cute. <laughs> and Kalish probably loves them. <laughs> Who doesn't love corgis? True, <gasps> honestly. The Who corgi. doesn't love dogs in general? <laughs> <laughs> so, Hannah, have you seen any art? pieces that you like today i have seen so many art pieces i love tonight and one who i don't think you guys have seen it on camera yet it was made by a one of a junior and she took pictures at a bunch of different concerts that had all different types of lighting and then actually sewed them all together to make like a line and it's all the colors of the rainbow so you guys should definitely come check that out it's right by our table it's actually right behind us exactly so i don't know if our camera's gonna pick pick it up but you guys should definitely come see it it's absolutely amazing yeah it's really colorful and it, it takes so many different art skills there's like some sewing involved there's photography i know she messed around with the lighting mm -hmm. and look at that there's a sculpture of just cups 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 everything can be art literally anything and everything i make art out of literally cans <laughs> <laughs> I made a project out of cans, a little recycle bin. Oh, and I don't know if you guys have seen, but a lot of the artwork tonight is inspired by Andy Warhol's Campbell, Campbell Soup Cans exhibit. And tonight, if you guys are here, even if we are collecting non-perishable food items for the BMCHSD community cupboard at, here at the show tonight. Yeah, we actually are. So please, please <laughs> donate to please. the... Please donate to the community covered. It is helping so many families all throughout the Belmore Mara community. So many families that are in need of these items. Absolutely. So, Bray, before you sat down with me tonight, what was your job? I was actually on. I was actually on one of the cameras that was getting one of the closer looks to like all the art and stuff, and yeah, I was just basically moving around trying to get life. Well, enough about us for now. Yeah. Let's throw it over to Brie Goodman, who's with Amanda Romano, for another interview. Hello, I'm Brianna Goodman, and I'm here with Amanda Rom Romano, the nominee and winner of the Cultural um, Art for the Digital the Cultural Arts Awards for the Digital Art category. So, Amanda, which um, what was your motive and your focus for your AP um, art this year? So my focus was birds and surrealism. I tried to in, uh, redesign like certain famous surrealist pieces. So this one over here is one of them that I redesigned. And I think I should have another one up here. I think this one was, ba oh, this one was based off of another one. So uh, I have, I tried to mix it. I tried to do some photos, photoshopping, and just traditional digital art, and that's that was my focus. That was like really they're really cool. And so, out of all these beautiful art pieces, which one sticks out to you, and which one has the most personal connection with you? Oh, that's really hard to choose from. Um, I would probably say this one. I spent the most time on this one. Uh, it represents having like really, it represents like intrusive thoughts and um, negative emotions behind like really prettiness, like roses. So, me dealing with a lot of uh, stress and issues at this time, like it really resonated with me. So, I think that's one of my favorite pieces. I love your art and congratulations on winning. That's a really big deal. Um, it was so nice talking to you and thank you so much for your time and your art's beautiful. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you so much, Bree and Amanda. So, Bree, what was your favorite piece of artwork that we just saw? Uh, mine was definitely the one where she was holding the flowers up to her face. 
the pretty like pinkish white tulips they were so gorgeous they like complemented her face and everything That's especially it. with her makeup her makeup had like such a bold look but the tulips helped soften it absolutely my favorite was the one with the tropical birds because that was absolutely it was so cool because I feel like in a lot of these paintings, you don't see red as often, but red really helps you pop. Speaking of red, there's the red, but, Bray, look at that dog. Dog. Look how cute it's that dog. dog is. It kind of looks like Miss Kalish's dog. It does. That dog is so cute. Yes. <laughs> and that is made by Junior Pulse Regliano. Oh. I love seeing, like, all of these vibrant pieces in the Mepham hallway. Yeah. We definitely have so many art pieces in these hallways, especially now because of this art exhibit. And I can already see one that I can already tell what it is. It's Melanie Martinez. Do you see Melanie Martinez, Hannah? Oh, absolutely. She that painting is absolutely amazing. Yeah. But now sitting down with now sitting down with us, we have our principal, Mr. Gomez. How are you doing today, Mr. Gomez? Good evening. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Being here. Absolutely. So, how are you enjoying? How are you enjoying this art show today? You know, the fact that we have it in person now is just outstanding. You know, we had a two-year hiatus where we held a virtual art show, obviously because of uh, the pandemic. But seeing the level of talent and the amazing artwork that's on display is truly inspiring. And it's obvious that the parents, relatives. You know, siblings that have graduated that are enjoying the show as much as I am. You know, I'm walking around and I, I'm thinking to myself, am I in a high school or in a museum? <laughs> yeah, seriously, the, the work is beyond anything I could ever expect from high school students. So I'm very happy that we're hosting it live. Me too. It's crazy that this is only the artwork of high school students. Yeah. I can't wait to see, like, what they do in their future. Exactly. Well, like, a lot of them, you know, although they may not pursue art as a major, they may take some art classes or pursue it as a minor. And like you said, they will take their talent to the next level and... and who knows? We might see them in the gallery or in a museum. You never know. Well, if you don't actually know, it's also alumni and teachers' arts as well here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, if you saw on the smart board before, there, look at that. There's Ms. Siroff's artwork, Beautiful. Ms. Thorgerson. You saw Ms. Kalish and Ms. Federici's artwork earlier. So obviously we have talented faculty here. So you Absolutely. Know, that's, that's great that they're you know, showing their, our students what, what they've learned and how they can you know, further improve their skills. Yeah. I know this is a big question. Yeah. What was your favorite piece of artwork you've Ooh. seen tonight? There's a lot of them. I, you know what? I'm going to say all of them only because I do have a couple of favorites that I saw as I was walking in. But then as I was walking in the gallery itself, because I'm not going to call this a choir room. I'm going to call it a gallery tonight. <laughs> I, uh, I have to say, I was very, very impressed with what I saw. So I, it's hard to pick. It really is. Sorry. Absolutely. <laughs> what is your favorite like kind of artwork? B believe it or not, I like uh, when I studied art in college. I, I like Claude Monet. You know the what he does with brush strokes, and uh, it, it's very interesting up close. It's very hard to look at it from. You really have to admire it from a distance. So he, he's he's one of the artists that I respect a lot. And when it comes to sculpture, uh, Rodin. Uh, when I went to his museum in Paris. I thought I saw all the things that he created in black sculpture, and I thought it was just absolutely incredible to, to have that level of talent at that time. And you know, and I'm glad that our students and many students across Long Island study these artists and inspire to be like them. Absolutely, it's crazy that there's so many like different types of art that are shown tonight. Like there's sculpture, there's ceramics, there's painting, drawing, photography, videos. Graphics, absolutely everything. Yeah, you guys are artists yourself. You know, when you produce all these live segments and put together uh, the packages, that's a piece of artwork. So you should be proud as well because we're honoring you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and you guys can see so much of our artwork on all of our shows, like Midweek Update, Sports Talk. And if you guys saw Talking Cookies just went up today, and there's some definitely some artwork on there because it's all about the art show where they got to interview a bunch of different people. <laughs> I was actually on that show once before, and so was Miss Hannah Broxmire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but there's so many different shows. Like, and this is a very difficult question. What is your favorite piece of artwork you've seen on BMB? Ooh, you guys. <laughs> that, I'm not gonna answer that one. <laughs> Let's be honest. Everything that you do, from a BMB standpoint, is so impressive. I I have a friend who's a production assistant for NBC. And he looks at this stuff and he's like, this is produced by high school students? <laughs> yeah. 
He, he's very impressed, so I have to, you know, make sure that he moves up the ranking so he could hook you guys up with some internships <laughs> in the <laughs> future. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Mr. Gomez. Thank you. Now let's throw it over to Bree Goodman with another interview. Rebecca. Christiana Fufas, who is taking art one and two. So, Christiana, which one is your collection? Um, my favorite piece in my collection, I think, would be the olives, which are up here. Um, and I was inspired because I'm Greek American, and my, every year we go to uh, every year when we go to Greece in the summer, we visit my grandparents' olive groves there. I think it's really beautiful. And so, like, how long did it take you to do? And like, what were the materials you used to create these pieces of art right here? Um, for the olives, I use mainly colored pencil, um, but behind you we have a painting, um, and then graphite over here and oil pastel up there. Um, and they both, they took me about like maybe two or three weeks each, but they were a fun process to do. They're really pretty, so thank you so much for talking with us, and your art is gorgeous, and we love to admire it too. Um, now, that's all for me, and back to you guys in the booth. Thank you so much. Bray and Yana. I mean, sorry, Christina. Christiana. Christiana. Oh my God. Bray, this, you should have came back from that one. <laughs> I actually know Christiana because she was actually on the basketball team with me. Oh. She has so many talents. It's unbelievable. And same with her sister. Her sister actually is New York State champion in wrestling for girls. Wow. That takes so. There's so many types of talent here at Mepham. Yeah, we are such a talented community. I can't even, like get over the fact how so many of us are state champions, division champions, like any type of champion. National champions. National champions. And those are just some of our sports teams. But we're but also national we all have We have to talk about ourselves, too. Yeah. For at, at like the SCN convention in this past February, we were actually named the broadcast award-winning school like we got an honorable mention yeah. like it's crazy it was what like 10 or 15 schools only got it yeah and we were one of them and we went i mean like we have to plug ourselves a little bit yeah we have to talk about ourselves we also won some other awards at the broadcasting C awards for senior high schools which we actually came home with a bunch of awards yeah how many was it four i think it was some five? four first place four first place there was also one and one third, third place I still believe she should have gotten first. Me I too. still believe it. Absolutely. And even though one of our packages did not place, it was still absolutely amazing. It was our robotics package, which you can see on Midweek Update, yeah. which was made by Tyler Steinberg. <laughs> um, speaking of Tyler, hmm. mm -hmm. I, I'm not totally sure if he has art here, but I'm pretty sure he does. He might. Oh. He might not. I'm not totally sure. But I'm pretty sure T Tyler is definitely a talented person. Yeah, absolutely. Like, not even just he might not ha he might have our work here. He might not. But even just the packages and his on-air personality. Yeah, definitely his on-air per personality. Yes, he definitely has personality. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Any people in B and B or person in B and B has definitely a big type of personality. Like there's Cumul and Bish Charles. Who I saw his artwork before. His artwork is here actually? Yeah. It was I think for one of his like small like movie things. It was like Stein Apocalypse. Yeah, I remember him actually making that. That is an amazing graphic. There's like there's a bunch of Steins. Yeah, there's I think there's five or six. You guys definitely need to look at that and also tune in for all of our shows with him. <laughs> which is actually, do you want to say it, Hannah? Our morning announcement, <laughs> which you can check out every Friday on the B&B YouTube channel. And there's a variety of different hosts, like I know, between Ava Scheffler, Haley Hepworth, Sean McQuillan, along with our sports crew of Matt Mano and Finnegan Cork and Doolin. And sometimes you can see Tyler Steinberg on there as well, as well as around campus with either Gisette Cheveria, myself, or Riley Freed. And would you like to sh talk about what is that? Oh, <laughs> it took me a minute. On what is that, we have Sid Elisetti, Liam Osborne, and I think that's about it. I think that's it, but, but we're also just missing keep weather. True, you can't forget about weather, where we have had Cumulon Nimbus Charles, Jetstream Joe, Heatwave Horachak, and if we want to throw it back a little, we have Blizzard Bree. <laughs> no, but you're also missing the solstice. 
True. Solstice was definitely my favorite. It's so hard to pick a favorite. Like Come it's on, crazy Hannah. that our who's your favorite? Who was your favorite weather? Was it Bray? That was no, like a year ago. So, but honestly, our our morning announcements and B and B crew just keeps growing. Yeah, definitely. You definitely grew a lot because I remember you being hailstorm Hannah. Yeah, I feel like weather is a, a place where so many people get their start. <gasps> Look at that. That is actually pretty cool. I want to make that. Me too. <laughs> Maybe we can um, get some of these art students to help us out to make that. Yes, please. We, we would like that. So if whoever made it or any art teachers watching this, you guys want to help us out and help us make that? It's hard to read the name, but whoever made it is definitely a very talented person. I know. Person. I want to head over there later to figure out who made that so we can thank the proper person and also ask for help. There's, <laughs> there's got to be some type of engineering in this. Yeah. Maybe robotics. like I was gonna say our, our <laughs> robotics, which you can also check out on our BNB YouTube channel. Yeah, hmm. that was such a fun day, and we got to partner with Cougar TV. Yeah, and, and also the Calhoun Media Club. Yeah, as the way where the whole district gets to come together to help us do our broadcasts. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, Hannah. Hmm. <laughs> I know I probably asked this question, but I'm gonna ask it again if I already did. Go for it. Favorite art piece. Well, I already answered that one, but the, if I had to pick another one, it would probably be one of these sculpture pieces. What about me? What about my artwork, Hannah? <laughs> well, obviously, <laughs> but <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so you said are the ones I've seen. You're going to have to show me later, though. Of course, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my brother, actually, so... Because of him having uh, like certain classes and stuff, he wasn't able to take art. Ooh. Speaking of which, we weren't able to take art in our freshman year. Yeah. So we're actually taking a, a class called Foundations of Art, and we also have on alternate days Foundations of Music. Yes. But there's like so many different art classes offered. Like I am lucky enough to be able to take another art class my senior year next year. Really? Yeah, I am taking Creative Suite to help me with my digital artwork to help me learn Photoshop better and InDesign, which are all, InDesign, which are all these online programs to help. And they can really help me make these graphics that you see on BNB. Wait, actually, I see one of my brother's, like, um, what is it called? Artworks? <laughs> artwork, yeah. <laughs> I totally blanked. It's actually in the way corner, the little guy with the hat underneath Melanie Martinez. Oh. Which is getting blocked right now. But hopefully we'll get to see it soon. Yeah. But my brother actually has so many talents, he just doesn't want to share them, which is really sad. Oh, now we can see it. That's, yeah, you can see that's it That's truly amazing. Yeah. He should share his artwork more often. It was actually also on the smart board right outside here. And as you can see, it was just on one of the boards out there. And I'm not sure if there's any other artwork he has. But well, I know that's one of them. <laughs> it's so better to have one because you want to share your artwork as much as possible, but you also want to give other people a chance to share theirs. Yeah. Hmm. What is Should your favorite piece of artwork? My favorite? Yeah. <gasps> dog! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that dog is so cute. Look at the dog! I'm just going to start making sounds of dog. Oh my god, look at the dog. It's it's so cute. Cute. <laughs> So, it sounded like you had something to ask me. No, I was just saying, should we... Oh, is that Sean... Is that That's Sean, Sean Petritus? Petritus? <laughs> BB's alumni Sean Petritus. <laughs> he wants to do an interview. <laughs> and we'll be interviewing him right now. And he was... <laughs> so, Sean, how are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. The only reason I came here is because you weren't answering my text. <laughs> I said shout us out. So you didn't shout us out, so I came. How'd you get That's here? That's why we're here. Michelle drove me. <laughs> Makes sense. Because I don't drive. <laughs> well, you used to be an art student here, right? I did. I was. Hi, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, we can't talk to you right now. So, now let's... Aww. <laughs> 16 people are watching. <laughs> I'm just as important as Brie. <laughs> Bree's not an art student. I actually Unless am. I have Kalish's art class. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> so am I not getting interviewed? 
I mean, we can ask you one question. I was a former art student. Were you what actually? What was your favorite yeah. art piece you, you made in Creative Suite? I made a... Oh, no, that wasn't Creative Suite. <laughs> because this is also uh, an art Creative show for Suite. alumni. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. alumni? Yeah. Yeah. There's oh, also teachers and alumni. <laughs> I wasn't told about it. <laughs> no, wait. Wasn't there one last year? Oh, no. Th yeah, but th this is also for alumni. What did I do last year? I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, no, you were I, here. Did, I did APR last year. That's um, what it was. That's what it was. That I was proud of. What was that, your I made a cool one where I was wearing a football jersey looking at a sun with my house and a football in the background. That yeah. I did on Illustrator, and I thought it was very good. Well, we'll talk to you again later. That's how you're okay. But now let's throw it over to Bree Goodman with another interview. It's Brianna Goodman, and I'm here with Emma Henry, who is who was the artist of this collection. I killed that. So, Emma, what was your motive and like your inspiration for this artwork? My motive was just to really be creative. I'd like to express myself, and this is like the easiest way to do it. Yeah, I'm so I don't like to talk very much. Her phone's on. Bye. I think it's really pretty. And so, which one out of all these art pieces is your favorite or the one that speaks to you and connects to you the most? Yeah. My favorite is the oil pastel one. Yeah, you're yeah. out. I yeah, like you're out. colors happen, like, turned out, and glass is really is hard Michelle to really capture like, yeah. in like, a 2D we have Michelle type form. Uh, I don't think I we should do them anymore, alumni, capture, right now. Like the, like the shine on the light bulb was really impressive to me, and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, it's really beautiful, and so thank you so much for talking with us today. Your art is beautiful, and it's so great that we can admire it and see it in person, so thank you. Um, back to you guys in the booth. Thank you so much, Bree and Emma. So what was your favorite piece of artwork? Probably the one that was like right dead smack middle, where she was like sitting down, yes. putting her leg out. It, was, it looked very detailed, Hannah. That's mine too. <laughs> so, oh look, is that a photo essay? That, I think that is a photo essay. Who is that by? It's so hard to see. I know. It looks mm -hmm. like I can't read that. <laughs> I don't know, but I like that it's even though colors like really big now, there's still a lot of black and white pieces that we still get to see. Yeah. S like speaking of which, one of the pieces that I have here mm -hmm. is actually in black and white, except for the fact that the lettering is in bold red, because that's what helps make something stand out. Look at that piece. That is, n that doesn't, it's not even like drawn, it's literally made out of paper. That's incredible. How did they make it look like an actual person? I know. I wish there was like a name on there. It's probably someone who made a, all the artwork around it, and I wish we knew who so we can yeah. shout them out. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, look at that birthday cake. That's that so looks cool. so good. Hannah, I've, you want to go for cake after this? Okay, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want to see uh, who made that artwork. Like, it's absolutely incredible. Hey, Hannah, do you see something my favorite? Was that a Disney castle? What are you talking about, girl? What I was are you talking ta about? I was talking about the sunflower. Oh, of course. The sunflower is my favorite. Obviously. You are such a big sunflower per person. Look at the car. Oh, Liam Conklin. I know him. Really? Yeah. So actually, if some of you don't know, I'm actually a junior firefighter, and he's actually my captain in the oh. junior firefighter. He is our, like, he's our junior, junior captain. We have our captains, but they're called advisors technically, which is actually my dad. Um, two of the, um, another sophomore here, and um, a freshman's dad as well. So oh, like. Wow. I actually know a lot of people's, a lot of people's, a lot of people, oh my, I can't. Like, a lot of people. A lot of people's art here. Like Nick Courage, he actually was part of the juniors, I believe. I'm not sure if he is anymore. Um, Joe Bongo is actually part of the juniors. Who we actually got to, we got to hear from earlier. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you see right behind this guy, I actually know the people that made that art. It's either the twin, yep, nope. She made all of them. Yana Fufas, who I was just speaking about, who is the New York State champion. Wow, yes. Oh my god, I love that. I haven't seen that kind of artwork. Is that like welding? I think so. I think so too. I'm not sure. 
Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. That's that hands. That's so cool. I want to hold it. Me too. It was by Emma Henry. Oh, who so. we just got to interview. Did we actually? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe. <gasps> that's, that's my one. favorite piece. That's the one we were I just love about. that piece. That's like with the all different colors of all different celebrities. I know there's some Harry Styles. There's some Alec Benjamin in there. And then it's all sewn together. There's so, but you see how creative these are? Like, it's not just, like, painting and drawing. There's sewing in there. Yeah. Like, she had to sew each one of those together with all different colors. Yeah. Yeah, but there's... I, I can't wait. Like, all of these different artwork... Look at these sculptures. Yeah. Like, I could never be a sculptor. I Is would love to be. Is that clay? Or... Is that, like, painted, like, wood? That... That looks like metal, not even wood. I don't know. I want to find that out. I know there is one piece by our very own Sammy Rooney. Oh. Well, but we'll talk about that after. But now let's throw it over to another interview with Brie Goodman. I ran a Goodman, and I'm here with Bianca Stone, so um, who did these art pieces behind me and next to me. So, Bianca, tell me, what was like the inspiration behind these pieces next to us right now? Well, some of them were for class, but then some of them I also did just because I was just in the mood to draw. So I just decided to draw, you know? Yeah, they're really nice. And so out of all of these, which one connects with you, and which one speaks with you the most? I don't know. I never really thought about it like that. Um... I'm not sure. I mean, this one I made um, of a fish tank in my house, so that one, I have I had fish my whole life, so that's... Oh yeah, they're really pretty. Thank you for speaking with us about your art. Like, it's really pretty, and thank you for your time. Now, back to you guys in the booth. The under the sea one. It was Mine? so well done. <laughs> Mine was definitely the candy one. The candy one is so detailed, so realistic. I love realistic, like, paintings, whatever. Absolutely. I saw that Hershey Kiss yeah. and the gummy bears. gummy bears. Gummy bears are, like, one of my favorites. So good. My favorite. So good. <laughs> she eats gummy bears all I at my house all the time. Always. I love seeing, like, food artwork. Yeah. Like, if you, to, like, the left of us, there's some more gummy bear artwork. Oh my God. And there's some, like, Coke bottles. So good. All this amazing artwork. Look at, look at all these artworks. Like, they're so unique. Did you see another dog? There was another dog at the top of that screen. Was there another dog? There was. I didn't get to see it. Oh, you're missing out. Look at some of these paintings and drawings. They're so detailed. Wait, it's Spiritual <gasps> Shane. That's fine. And now we are joined with another BMB alumni who's definitely not new to the camera. So Michelle, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm so happy you could sit down with us. I'm very excited to be here. So you were a big art student. I was. I was in art from 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade actually, yeah. What was your favorite art class you took? I really liked doing APR. I felt like the freedom with it was like really nice because I was able to discover what I wanted to do with artwork. So I felt like it allowed me to express myself more. Well, but you also had some artwork being on camera in B&B. I did. B&B allowed me to have more of like a video presence rather than a physical art presence. And I felt like getting both, like, both worlds was a good environment for myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it weird us interviewing you instead of you interviewing people here? It was very spontaneous for me to show up today. And I was like, okay, I'll get interviewed. And it definitely is odd being on this side. <laughs> well, I'm definitely happy you came. Me too. Good to see you guys. I'm so, I'm so happy you're here. So what is your favorite piece of artwork that you've seen tonight? I was looking at some of the sculptures. I can't give you a specific one, but I was very impressed because I haven't seen many sculptures from this school, and just wow. They're really good. Absolutely. And then, like, your last two years, like, the art show was virtual. So it's crazy that we get to be back in person and that you get, you got, you got to come back here to see it with all of us. Yeah, definitely. It's amazing to see all the artwork actually physically this year, and I'm glad that everyone got to see their artwork put up rather than on the internet. So when you did art, what was your favorite type of artwork to make? I either like doing like B&B &B stuff where it was video editing, or I like doing like physical just drawing art. Well, Michelle, thank you so much today. 
Thank, Thank you. you for having me. Of course. I'll talk to you later. Yes, bye, guys. <laughs> bye. bye. So thank you so much, Michelle. And now we are here with Brianna Goodman. So you took a break of doing interviews to get interviewed. So how are yes. you doing today? Um, I'm good today, and I'm very excited to be here. So the art show is really beautiful today. Yeah. And there's so much talent in the school and so much that, like, so much stuff that you wouldn't have expected high schoolers to do. But the ability and the stuff that you've seen is just really amazing that in this, in this art show. <laughs> so... You got to be everywhere tonight, getting interviews, so you've seen a bunch of pieces. What's your favorite? <laughs> um, I would say my favorite is there was a there was a piece like with I didn't get to interview the artist and I like I unfortunately I didn't get to interview them, but it was a piece of like a woman and she was sitting and she looked a little bit upset, but it was like like, I think the message of the piece was that women and, like, the beauty of being a woman was, like, you don't have to look perfect. And it was, like, defined, like, different, like, not living up to society standards. It was, like, a different body, like, a different everything. And I think it was just such a beautiful piece because I it just showed feminine in a completely different way. I think we have to check that piece out later. Definitely. Because that sounds amazing. You'll have to show us where it is. I'm also, definitely. after this, going to definitely check all the art out. Yes. Who isn't? <laughs> Honestly, like, us sitting at this table, we get to see whatever the cameras are filming for us. But I want to go to the foyer after. <gasps> yes, the foyer. Because like, I haven't seen much of the foyer. No, they, we've seen some clips on here. But I know there's so much artwork. Plus, there's a smart board showing a bunch more artwork and some video clips that I really want to see. I don't know if they put it in, but I also made a little lower third for Chipotle. Speaking of Chipotle, you guys can come support BMB to help us go to STN next year at, at the Chipotle in Wanta on June 1st. And all you have to do is mention BMB, and that will help us get to Long Beach, California, and help us r raise some money. Please, we want to go to California. Please, we really want to. <laughs> but that's not our only fundraising opportunity. Yeah. Bree, I think you should tell us about some more. Are you talking about, what are you talking about, the chocolates? Of course, the chocolate. The chocolates. So we're d selling chocolates for only $1, and all the b, b students have to, how would you say it? I wouldn't say have to. They get to. They get to sell all this chocolate to anyone who they want. Yeah. Would so you like to say the price of $1, of course. You're right. It's only $1, and there are six different kinds. And how many ba boxes have you sold, Brie? I've sold 19 boxes. What about yeah. you, Hannah? I've, well, I've been having trouble selling them, so I'm only at 17. Bray, would you like to share your leading number? 25. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. But are you, with selling all those boxes, are you able to name all six kinds? Uh, WF Chris, Wafer, Almond, Milk Chocolate, Dark Chocolate, and... Um, you forgot caramel. everyone's favorite. Caramel. Caramel. So what is your favorite? Out of all selling all those boxes, because I'm sure you've had, you've eaten some. W of Chris, it's definitely my favorite. What about um, you, Bray? Wafer, of course. I would have to say wafer. Wafer is definitely my favorite chocolate, and the caramel is good, but wafer, I don't know. I think it's superior. No, I think I'm not a wafer fan. I'm more of a crisp or yeah. caramel. I don't know. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> That's <didn't even> <laughs> no, all good. It's Why all did good. You put that I don't <laughs> no, but there's so many different kinds, and it's so fun because every people have just come up to you in the halls and yeah. just like all around your classes. There'll like be, there'll be like people, and um, and I do have a class with like two other BMB, actually three, four other BMB students, and we all sell chocolate. And some kids will be like, "Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have this?" And they'll say, "Which one has this? Which one has that?" And <laughs> it'll just be like everyone wants chocolate, and it's just amazing. So. I'm I know lucky. what. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky enough that I don't have any other B and B students in my classes, so I only have one other. My favorite class to sell is definitely six period global history in Mr. Pavanis and Miss Landry's class. I always get business in there. I at least always sell six bars. Me too. My so my class that I always sell the most in would have to be Miss Geller's leadership class, seventh period. I love that class and Thank you. If any of you are watching, thank you so much for always buying from me. <laughs> 
what about you? What class you? do you sell? I sell like actually, the most. The, the most, most I sell most. in actually, if I if I do get any business no, um, in school, it would have to be math class because there are kids. Actually, one time this kid came up to me and he was like. I have a donation for you, like ten dollars, and he didn't take any chocolate. He, t I think he took maybe three, three bars. Oh wow! Yeah, I would. Wait, look, that's actually some of the foundations <gasps> of art. Look, at that's one of the pieces we were talking about. Look, Stein, I can Stein actually Apocalypse, name, right there. I can name every single one who made that. The top one is Sammy Rooney. The one next to it is by Fiona Kasuchi. The one beneath it is Charles Decker, our very own weatherman. Yes. Then next to that is David Nee. And then right next to that is Adriana Liverday, or as we know her, AJ. And then right underneath David's is mine. Oh, I, ho I hope they pin, they show it so that we can see your artwork because... You That's can what I've been waiting to see. see. It. That's the artwork I have been waiting to see. Yeah, so look at this. Unfortunately, it's get, this time has been going so fast. Like, it's absolutely crazy yeah. how fast this time has been going. Yeah. And we've got to see so much artwork. What, is you, what has been your favorite type of artwork tonight? I think the artwork that, like, and can show and capture a lot would have to be the photography. I feel like the photography can capture like real photos and especially the ones that I see of like everyday life. It just shows, it just like freezes time. And that's why I love photography. I also think the sculptures are very interesting because like there's just so much you can do with clay, you can do with wire, even some of these objects. There's like actually one of these pieces that I'm looking at right now. It's um made out of like plastic babies. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy, and it's it, it's a figure made out of it, made out of it, and it's crazy like what you can make out of other materials. Absolutely. What is Brie? What is your favorite type of artwork you've seen tonight? So. T type of artwork I've seen tonight is definitely um, I don't know like I think I know some of your favorites what does that mean the dog ones of course yeah dog ones and the sunflower yeah sculpture. The sunflower as well but I actually do my own type of art right outside of school um, I actually paint a lot oh yeah I actually have like this little room in my house we call it our little shoebox room <laughs> and we basically have paintings all around the walls that I've made. Wow, this is, I love like seeing all this artwork and hearing all of your favorite pieces tonight. But unfortunately, our night has come to an end. Can't believe the art show, for us at least, is over. But any students, you guys, this art show will be up all day tomorrow so you can watch it. Yeah. But please. Please. Come see it. Yes, this artwork is truly incredible. Oh, there's so it's, much talent yeah. in this school. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So, I've been Hannah Broxmeyer. I've been Brianna Bolin, or Brie Bolin. And I've been Brianna Goodman. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching tonight, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. so much for watching.